Katharina. Good to see you again. Very good to see you too. What brings you in today? So I have some tingling sensations on my face, my hands, and my feet. Oh. I'm feeling a little bit of numbness as well, and I'm quite concerned. Um, I think it might have to do with my blood flow, but I wanted to come and get checked out by you and see if you can help me. That's great that you came to see me today. I'll be more than happy to examine you. When did these symptoms begin? So they've been happening for a couple of weeks and because they didn't go away, that's why I decided to come in. So I'm going to give you a very thorough examination of your face, hands and feet, and we'll get down to the bottom of what's happening to you. Thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and just start by inspecting your body, your face, your chest, your arms and legs. And I'm just looking for any external signs of anything that may be an indication of any skin abnormalities. I'm looking at the color of your skin, whether it reacts to my touch. I'm feeling an even temperature all throughout your arms. Your face. And your legs. I'm looking for any signs of psoriasis, whether the skin reacts to me pressing down on it, and it does. No nodules are felt. No lumps or bumps. I'm just going to go ahead and explore the facial area. Apply a little pressure. And I want you to let me know if you feel any discomfort. I'm not noting any excess sweating. No pain indicated upon touch. Can you please squeeze my arms? But nice and strong, you can keep them down there for now. Have you had any pain in your joints today? No. I'm going to go ahead and take my medical hammer and do a little bit of tapping starting from your face, shoulders and wrists and see if I can trigger any particularly sore spots that may need further exploration.
have you been doing any new recent activities that may explain these symptoms? Um, I've just I've been working out quite a bit lately, going pretty hard in the gym. Okay. Anything with your hands, your fingers in particular? Nothing in particular. Um, how about your legs other than the workout in the gym? Have you done anything out of the ordinary? Just putting a little pressure on your temples. I do see your eyes are reactive, which is a good sign from a neurological point of view. Exploring the jawline as well. the nasal cavity. I'm not feeling anything swollen, no enlargement of the lymph nodes. Any pain when I am exploring these tendons? No. Okay, that is a very good sign. Okay, I'm going to check your reflexes. Yep, just leave all the weight of your arm. In mine. I'm gonna do a little tap over here. Okay, that's good. And if you can also lift up this other arm and let it loose in mine. Good. And I'm also going to check your wrist. Next up, I'm going to take a little listen to your heart and make sure that your vitals check out for today. So just breathe normally. I'm just going to slide this right here. Just listen. I'm particularly paying attention to any extra sounds that may be coming from your heart. S1 and S2, not hearing S3 and S4. Strong, steady rhythm. Okay, take a deep breath in and out. Now I can breathe normally, listening to the lungs, no crackling, 
No murmurs. Okay. That is very well. So, vital signs check out. Next up, continue keeping your eyes closed. I'm going to explore the cranial nerves that control your face, the movements of your neck and shoulders. I'm going to start off by spraying a little water on your face and I want you to tell me if you feel the water droplets hitting your face. Yeah. with something very very soft and I want you to just say yes when you feel it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And do you feel this equally on both sides of your forehead? Yes. Equally on both sides of your cheeks? Yeah. Equally on both sides of your chest? Yes. Good. Okay, next up I'm going to do a test that is called sharp or dull. And I'm going to touch with two different objects. Do you feel this? Yeah. That is tall. And do you feel this? Yes. That is sharp. I want you to tell me if you feel sharp or tall. Tall. Good. Sharp. Good. Sharp. Good. Tall. Good. Sharp. Good. Tall. Good. We're going to do a test that is called cold or sharp. So I'm going to touch either with a cold object or with a sharp one. And I want you to tell me which sensation you feel. Okay. Cold or sharp? Cold. Cold. Sharp. Cold. Sharp. Cold. Sharp. Good. Okay, next up I'm going to take just a couple of measurements of your face and your arms and make sure that everything is symmetric and I'm not seeing any no signs of any unevenness or inflammation, um, anything that we may need to note down and further monitor. That's 737 across the shoulders. 
16 from the year love to the nose. Another 16. from the shoulder to the elbow 30 okay good just going to take a look at the palms and just explore the palmar creases I'm not noting anything except one mole which has well-defined borders and is one color. Okay. No discolorations, no abnormalities of the skin. No signs of any dermatitis of the hand. Okay, does this hurt? No. Okay. How about this? No. Okay, very good. So I'm going to just take off my gloves and just feel your hand. I'll start with the right one first. Going to just press down gently on the joints of the fingers. Let me know if you feel any discomfort while I do this. Okay. I'm going to pull the index finger up. Let me know if you feel any pain here. No. Okay. Next finger up, any pain here? No. Here? No. Here? No. And here? No. Good. I'm going to pull on them slightly. Let me know if you feel any discomfort. Do the same over on this hand. Just feel it to begin with. No bombs or indentations. Even temperature. No excess sweating. down on all the joints. Okay. Push your fingers up. Any pain here? No. Any pain here? No. Any pain here? No.
one finger at a time. No pain or discomfort indicated. Over on the nails as well. Do you feel this? Yeah. And this? Yes. Good. Okay, you can turn your palms face up now. I'm going to try to roll your fingers up. Any pain there? No. Okay. Any pain there? No. Okay. I'm going to press down on your index and your middle finger. Try to roll up your index. Good. Same test over here. Roll up your index and only your index. Very good. Okay. Now make a fist and lift your thumb. Okay. Press down on my thumb. Good. Press down on my thumb. Good. Okay, open your palms back up. Going to do a little more tapping. to try to hold this piece of paper with these two fingers like this. Good. And I'm going to pull on it and try to not let me pull it out. Good. And now I want you to do the same with the last two of the fingers. All right. Very good. Next up, I want you to connect the index finger and the thumb together. And now I want you to connect the next finger to the thumb and the next and the next. Good. Now I want you to do the OK sign. I'm going to attempt to pull through. Don't let me do that. Good. And now put your hands like this in a prayer. Any pain there? No. And now press on your wrist. Any pain? No. Good. Okay, you can lower down. All right, Katharina, now I'd like you to lay down so that I can take a look at your legs and feet and Explore those areas from a neurological point of view. Have you been doing any more walking than usual lately? Yes, I actually um, sort of fell the other day while I was on a walk, a hike. Oh, that but could... it didn't hurt too much afterwards. Mm. That could contribute to the pain that you mentioned. I'm gonna go ahead and explore the knees, the legs, 
ankles, heels, plantar region, toes. Is it okay if I remove the socks? Yeah. Okay. And um, which uh, foot did you hurt? This one? Yeah. Okay. I just see a little bit of a redness right here. Yes, that's where I hurt. Okay. This also just appears slightly more inflamed than your left foot, just upon looking at them. I'll take a couple of measurements in a second to make sure. But it does look like your right foot has been through a little something recently. Okay, let's go ahead and explore the knee to begin with. Let me know if you feel any sharp shooting pain. No nodules are felt upon palpation. No signs of edema. The ankle bone feels intact. Checking for anything that may be hidden under the subcutaneous layer of the skin. I'm also noticing the temperature, which is even all throughout. No excess sweating. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little tapping and explore the bones in your knee. Go ahead and let me know if you feel any discomfort. Making sure that the nails are intact. Go ahead and roll your nails and your toes up. Any pain here? No. Good. Any pain when I do this? No. Okay. Any pain here? No. 
Any pain here? No. Good. Any pain here? No. And here? No. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do a test that's called Sharper Doll, the same that we did on your face. Is this sharp or dull? Dull. Good. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. And now I want you to tell me if you feel a cold sensation. I do. And now? Yes. Yes. Does it feel good? Yes, it's just cold. Okay. Just say good when you feel it. Good. 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 I'm going to go ahead and drop a little droplet of water on one of your legs. I want you to tell me if it's the left or the right one that you feel the droplets on. The left. Good. And how about now? Right. Very good. Okay. Next up I'm going to do a little acupressure point therapy on the top of your legs. And your big toe, just pressing down on important points that connect to your organs, liver, thyroid, stomach. Making sure we stimulate the blood flow. To promote relaxation. And healing. Some of these points never get any attention or stimulation. They may go numb, fall asleep. It's important that all of our organs get an increased 
blood supply from time to time. Do you see here that you have a scar? How did you get that? Yes, I got that when I was a child. I got that from falling. Oh. Did you fall in a sharp object? I just fell on a bunch of gravel really hard. Oh, wow. Well. Looks like it's healed nicely. It's just quite large. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Good. Okay. Now I want you to turn face down so that I can explore the plantar region and the heels of your feet. Okay. All right, Katrina, are you nice and comfy? Yes. Okay. Just gonna do a light palpation to begin with of the calf muscle. Any pain when I do this? Just slight like pain. Exploring the heel area first, noticing just a little bit of discoloration on your left heel. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Okay, that's a good wiggle. Just a little bit cold. Let's wait for that plane to escape into outer space. Skin is a little bit cold, getting colder towards the toes, which may indicate not the best circulation. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little tapping on the plantar region of both of your feet. And I want you to let me know if you feel any discomfort.
and the toes on the back of the toes also going to take a little peek in between the toes okay you feel that that's good and that Not noting any melanomas. Capillary refills within two seconds. One, two. No signs of any nail clubbing or pitting. Let's inspect this foot as well. Okay, so you do have sensation in between your toes. Good, good. Looking for any signs of melanoma, any dermatitis, no nail clubbing or peeling noted. Refills within two seconds. One, two, very good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and spray one of your feet. I want you to let me know which one you feel the water droplets on. Mm -hmm. Left foot, very good. How about now? Great. Right. Very good. And now, where do you feel the water droplets? On my lower left leg. Good. Lower right leg. Good. Heel. Good. Left heel. Good. Left toes. Good. Right toes. Very good. We're going to do the same sharp or dull test now. I want you to tell me if you feel sharp or dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Good. Now I'm going to attempt to draw a letter on one of your feet. I want you to try to identify that letter. O. Good. X. O. L X That's a bit hard. Let's try. Z. How about this one? S. Good. T. J. L L U N A L U X
Ja. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and measure the toes next. It's about one inch and a half. Fifty-seven point eight. Just a little under an inch. A little over half an inch. Point sixty-eight. Two inches. Very good. One point two. Point seventy two point forty five point forty eight point forty two point one I'm gonna go ahead and perform light massage. This will help stimulate the blood flow, stimulate the lymphatic drainage that we want. So that all of the organs get sufficient blood flow.
Okay, Katharina, I can come back up now. All right, Katharina, so I did a very thorough examination of your face, your arms, your hands, legs and feet. I was not able to find anything neurologically wrong with you. I believe you need to take it a little easier with the workouts. Okay, I'll try. And maybe just give it a rest for a couple of days so your body has that time to heal and regenerate and the muscle tears. Um, to come back together again. So that's all that um, my advice would be. All right. Well, I really appreciate everything. Thank you. You're most welcome.